This time we'd like to store a loop onto the timeline, just that in this lesson it won't start with 100% opacity but will start with a nice 2 second fade in. So we select layer 1, choose content which we'd like to use, go to the control tab and activate the zero opacity value through moving the fader ever so slightly until we see the red highlight. Active values can be stored onto the timeline, which we'll do by going directly to the timeline where we'll choose a spot where we want to save the values. Right click on the time axis and store active. Now we'll have to go 2 seconds further to save the 255 opacity value, which means we'll click on the time at the top left and enter plus plus 200 to jump another 2 seconds ahead. Now we revisit the control tab, get the opacity up to 255, it's red, so it's an active value, and we'll go back to the timeline, right click in the time axis and store active. If we watch this now, we can watch our whole creation. You can also click on the small plus icon to open the layer so that you can have a better overview of what you've just done. You can see a visual representation of the keys and the fade in.